Ginny Thomas, the conservative activist and wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, met today with the January 6 Select House Committee. Her lawyer stressed it was a voluntary interview, even though members of the panel have wanted to speak with her for some time about her involvement in efforts to overturn the 2020 election results, including text messages to the White House Chief of Staff, begging him to keep fighting the results, and to state lawmakers in Arizona and Wisconsin encouraging them to meddle in their respective states' slates of presidential Elector CNN's Jamie Gangel joins us live. And Jamie, what do we know about her testimony today? And remind us again why she is perceived as such an important witness. So can we just say how remarkable it is just to see that picture of the wife of a Supreme Court justice coming in to testify for the January 6th committee? Uh, we have learned that she had a prepared statement. In fact, at the top of her interview in which she made clear she addressed that her election activities were separate from her husband. So she did not wait for a question on that. As you said, it was voluntary. Uh, we are told that she cooperated, that she answered every question. But Chairman Benny Thompson has also told uh, reporters that she still believes the election was stolen, Jake. So after everything we know, Ginny Thomas is still an election denier. Even though 60 court cases, all the election boards, all the Trump supporting governors and attorneys general and secretaries of state, et cetera, et cetera, no evidence of widespread fraud that would have swung the election in any state. I including Attorney General Bill Barr, who said on December 1st, there is no fraud here. And yet she still believes it? She, she does. And I think we should just remind people of the text messages she sent to Mark Meadows. This one, I want to remind people, is after January 6th. This is on January 10th, and she texts Mark Meadows, then the chief of staff, we are living through what feels like the end of America. Most of us are disgusted with the VP and are in listening mode to see where to fight with our teams. Those who attack the Capitol are not representatives of our great teams of patriots for DJT. Amazing times, the end of liberty. That's just... Wild. I mean, that's just untethered from all the facts and evidence. That's correct. Uh, the committee has one more hearing to go. We don't have a date yet, but now I'm told there'll be new information, and they certainly have this new testimony from Ginny Thomas. That's right. There was supposed to be a, a hearing yesterday, but obviously the, uh, the hurricane, hurricane. Uh, changed the scheduling. Jamie Gangel is always amazing reporting. Thank you so much.